Do you wanna book more headshots? Click on the link in the description of this video to get the free PDF guide, five ways to book more headshots right now. Whether you're already in the headshot business or you wanna be, this guide will give you some practical, actionable tips to growing your headshot business that you can implement right away. Don't wait, click on the link and get your free guide right now. If you wanna see a bunch of adults have a meltdown, go into any photography group on Facebook and ask how much you should charge for a big headshot job. The funny part is, most of the people I see on social media sharing their opinions on this don't actually do much of that kind of work. Here's the good news, I do, like a lot of it. In this video, I'm gonna give you my three best tips on how to approach pricing volume headshots. If you wanna get weekly updates on all of my education, including where I'm gonna be speaking, any new classes, and a bunch of other awesome stuff, sign up for my newsletter, Photographers Only. And just for signing up, I'll give you my frequency separation action for Photoshop absolutely free. Link to the sign up is in the description. So let's get some perspective first by defining volume headshots. Most headshot jobs for groups fall into two separate categories, headshots for teams and headshots at events. Team headshots are mostly for groups ranging from three to 30 people and usually involve working for a company in your local market. It's great work, relatively low pressure, and the pricing models for this are pretty consistent across the industry. If you look around, you'll find that most photographers have some kind of per person fee and possibly a setup or travel fee for when they have to do work like this on location. Not too much mystery there. What I wanna get into in this video is the other thing, event headshots. Unlike team headshots, with event headshots, you can end up photographing dozens or even hundreds of people in a single day. The trick is that it's very often impossible to predict how many people you're gonna shoot. So the per person pricing model becomes a moving target and that can be problematic. Whether you're shooting a huge team of employees at an annual sales meeting or photographing attendees at an industry conference, literally everything about event headshots is different than team headshots. Less time per person, different deliverables and workflow, different client motivations, different value proposition and a different scope of work. Volume headshots at events are a different product and they need a different pricing structure from teams. For jobs like this, I've had a lot of success with charging by day instead of by person. It solves a lot of problems for you and your client. But what should you actually charge? The truth is I can't tell you what to charge, but I can give you my three top tips on how to come up with your own pricing that will help you book more volume headshot jobs. So here we go. Tip one, understanding budget. Large scale events are planned out months, sometimes years in advance. That means that the budget for them is too. It doesn't matter what you charge or how you charge, the only thing that matters is, are you willing to do the job they want for the amount of money they want to spend? It's not like doing headshots for a local law office where the boss of a staff of 10 people can just decide to spend more money if they want. The person who hires you for event headshots not only has nothing to do with the budget, but the budget was set by another team of people 18 months ago. Hell, half the time I'm hired by a third party marketing company that's totally separate from the company I'll actually be shooting for. Bottom line, you are gonna work with their budget or you aren't. Tip number two, know the market. Before you set your pricing, make sure that you do as much research as you can do to find out what other studios that do this type of work are charging. The market for this type of headshot photography has a pretty predictable range. Now that range has a low end and a high end, just like any type of photography, but making sure your pricing is somewhere in that range is important so that you're actually sending realistic quotes when you get the chance to bid on big headshot jobs. You also wanna make sure that your pricing leaves you with a healthy profit margin. In general terms, you don't want your costs on any job like this to be higher than 35%. Tip number three. Keep your pricing simple. No matter what type of pricing model you come up with, it's important that any prospective client could look at your pricing and completely understand it in a couple of seconds. They need to know pretty quickly whether or not your prices are in the ballpark of their budget. If they have to do any complicated math, or if they end up wondering what anything on your price list actually means, it's very likely that they will skip over you and onto someone whose pricing is easier to understand. Remember that these types of purchasing decisions aren't emotional, it's just numbers. 
I've had the most success in having a price list that shows all available services by day rate listed separately in addition to an all-inclusive day rate. This way they can see what the big number is and they can also build their own quote based on what services they actually need. Either way, make sure it's easy to understand. If a clever eight-year-old can't understand your pricing, it's too complicated. Here's a bonus tip. Remember that in most cases, you aren't the only photographer that a potential client is asking for a quote. If your pricing is upfront and simple, if your bid is within the ballpark of the market price, and you're willing to negotiate if you're a little out of their budget, you'll have a good chance of booking the gig. So what about bidding on these jobs? Would you like to see a video on how to bid on volume headshots? Let me know in the comments. If enough people wanna see it, I'll go ahead and make it for you. Don't forget to check the link in the description to sign up for my email newsletter and to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.